Fighting back once again against criticism, the White House says its invitation to Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte comes down to unity over North Korea. North Korea test-fired a ballistic missile on Saturday and is vowing to continue the tests. White House Chief of Staff Reince Priebus said on Sunday Trump's Duterte invite was to firm up support in Southeast Asia. Duterte, who came to power last year, is accused of supporting the extrajudicial killing of more than 9,000 drug suspects in his country. An issue UN Human Rights High Commissioner Zaid Rad Al Hussein says must be addressed directly by the White House. Uh, Ambassador Nikki Haley has uh, said that she'll make human rights a priority, so one hopes the messages will be very clear um, and, um, and uh, undiluted uh, from the President of the United States to the President of the Philippines. But Duterte is not the only controversial figure being invited to the White House. Thai Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha, who heads the military government that took power in a 2014 coup, has also been asked and has reportedly accepted the invitation to meet President Trump.